Nana Reeves now knows a lot and is on the Save Sasha team. The General Hospital recap for August 30, 2023, features Sasha's friends doing everything they could to get her out of Ferncliff. In this episode, Blady's told Nina most of what has been going on with Dr. Montag. Sam managed to get Cody committed to Ferncliff, while Sasha insisted the nurse not let Dr. Mongag near her. Dante also saw Sasha and reported back to Sunny on her condition. In court, the judge allowed the deception lawsuit to proceed as Maxie figured out Brooke Lynn gave information on the deceptor to Tracy. Now, let's dig a little deeper into the details. Sam, Kelly Monaco, and Cotty, Josh Kelly, were all in on his plan to be committed to Firmcliff. To that end, Cotty put on quite a show at a GH psychiatry appointment. Sam explained how erratic Cody had been. He was even walking in traffic and climbing out high windows, according to Sam's fake story. Cody then confessed he didn't see a reason to go on living. When Sam was gone, Cody falsely confessed that he was having suicidal impulses. Later at the nurse's station, Sam literally bumped into Dr. Montag, Darren Tunder, and spilled hot coffee all over him and his phone. Soon, it started ringing in Gladys's, Bonnie Burroughs. Name came up, which intrigued Sam since Gladys is not a common name. Sam knew Dr. Montag was up to something, so she casually mentioned how she likes to play poker when she is bored and waiting for friends to finish their doctor appointments. Lo and behold, Montag suggested Sam join a poker game he has been playing at the Savoy. At least Sam and Cody's trip to GH was worth it because he finally got himself committed to Firmcliff. Dante, Dominic Zamprogna, tried to get in to see Sasha, Sophia Matson, but the nurse stopped him and told Dante that Sasha had found a way to smuggle in drugs. Dante found that to be curious information and asked to see Sasha. The nurse okayed it because he is a cop, but Dante was shocked at what he saw. Sasha's condition was much worse than he ever expected. When the nurse went to check on Sasha later, Sasha begged her not to allow Dr. Montague near her because he was drugging her. The nurse believed Sasha was paranoid and told Dr. Montague what was going on. That prompted Montague to threaten and drug her some more. Nina, Cynthia Watros, was shocked to hear why Gladys really needed $50,000 ASAP. She needed to pay creepy Dr. Montague, so he let Sasha out of Firmcliff. Nina wasn't even sure she could believe her. Gladys explained the doctor was her poker buddy and was holding Sasha hostage till he could squeeze money out of them. She didn't bother mentioning she sanctioned this plan until it started to go too far. When Nina suggested they go to the police, Gladys insisted that would be a bad idea. She insisted the doctor problem didn't start until Sasha got to Firmcliff and she stabbed Cotty because the pressure got to be too much. Nina didn't believe her so Gladys added the fact that she suspected the doctor was playing with Sasha's meds. Nina insisted that Gladys call Dr. Montague right away and when he didn't answer, she tried to call Sonny, Maurice Bernard. Gladys freaked out and said they just have to pay the doctor and that would be that. She didn't want Sonny brought in on it. Nina didn't want to hear a word she was saying and said she would just go see Sonny so Gladys physically tried to stop her. She insisted Sonny would try to punish her for getting Sasha in all this trouble. Gladys refused to tell Nina the name of this sinister doctor, so Nina doubted Gladys' story altogether. However, she finally decided to give Gladys the money because she had to take a chance and save Sasha. Selena, Lydia Look, dropped by Sonny's money laundering restaurant, asking him to step in at the Savoy and save her poker game operation. She wanted Sonny to explain to Marshall that the poker game was good for the club, but Sonny refused. He said he would respect Marshall's, Robert Gossett, wishes and warn Selena to leave Marshall and Curtis, Donald Turner, alone. The deception ladies were shocked to learn that Tracy, Jane Elliott, was the one suing them. Lucy, Lynn Herring, assumed it was all a vendetta but Maxie, Kirsten Storms, brought her back to earth to focus on the here and now. As the hearing began, Jackson, Walt Willie, insisted he and Tracy have schematics of the original deceptor design that would prove their case. After consulting with the attorneys, the judge decided they'd be going to trial in six months.